guess uh, it was too soft. All right, here we go. Welcome back to the next episode, or I guess our new installment of Onigiri. And today we are going to try to remember my login information for... Okay, never mind, that was easy. My alternate account. Bada bing, bada boom. So we're going to do random dungeons. And I will be using a different class this time. Boom, 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 boom. What do I have on here? Uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so. Just repair. I uh, don't need to repair these. Why not? Right? Why not? So, this is my other character. Um, I guess I'll just nab a title real quick. I wonder what people are selling. Hmm. Help us save Onigiri. It's over, brother. Uh, let's see. These are weapon recipes and Magatama recipes. Is there Magatama with no enhancements. Why would anyone buy that? These are old. Oh, someone bought these. Why? Techstar Tempest. Must be like newer ones. Who knows? I certainly don't. I remember you'd have to scroll a lot in order to get to the bottom of the list, but. As you can see, there are only a handful in the area, so not a big deal. Who do I have as partners? Hmm. I guess I could summon random partners. Why not, right? We can have fun, try them out. Who do I have in here? Ah, okay. Kirin, little Musashi. Oh, I have Sasaki Kojiro. Level 100. Hmm. Okay, looks like I got some interesting characters. And this is sort of the page where you feed them items to enhance their levels. Uh, you need to like identify weapons and then give them the weapons in order to um, increase their levels. But I'm not going to do that. Just going to summon. Oh, cool. Alright, uh, right, they don't show up in these um, <sighs> overworlds. Okay, let me just grab a random title because I obviously don't have one anymore. And then we'll go do something random. Uh, so, I'm looking for something that gives me like spear affinity. That's probably the best sort of... Uh, I don't... I mean, obviously I don't remember many titles. There weren't many to... Pretty good. Ancient coin, what the hell is that? <laughs> I'll just choose this one, because why not? Alright. Let's see. I have to check my items and see what I got. So I have partner summon. What's in here? Ah, uh, soul eggs. Okay, these are the revive items that you use in dungeons to revive yourself at like full health and SP. Because like you can revive yourself without the SP, but it would uh, it, it would affect your score as well. Let me put the teleport crystal in my inventory. Do I have mounts? I have L toaster. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh, I can't see them. Okay. Summon L toaster as well. I have bait. Dang. Pretty good. Okay. So, uh, what am I using? I am using spears. Uh, this is a dark fire spear. Uh, this one here. And the most broken move back in the day was something called Water Dragon Spear. It was a non-Ogi AoE, and it made spear users incredibly powerful. Like, one of the best classes early game. Uh, as you can see, it looks like that. So it has a lot of range, AoE, does good damage. Um, and it was 
one of the most broken moves in the game. Uh, but the problem with Water Dragon Spear is, of course, it does cap on force. So um, eventually moves became stronger. Uh, such as this, for example. This is a fire version of it. That came out much, much later. Um, but that move is a uh, signature move of spear users. Is uh, It was shortened to WDS. And if we check my equipment here... This gives me dark and fire, and if you want, you can pause and read it, but this gives me like dark and fire and other stats and damage. And this other spear gives me um, rain element, which is water. Um, and yeah, uh, again, I am a hybrid class. Oh, I am using log. Oh, okay, I see it's for spear and wand. There is another Magatama that gives spear and Oh, I think it's a light blue version. I don't remember the name. What is this? Just a bunch of skill force. I get dark element. Okay. Cool. Spear skill force. Let's see. Let's see. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, so my wand is uh, dark lightning. So I don't think that I got it to like the level that I wanted it to. Uh, this was a side character, so I didn't really try hard on on this character, but I did play a lot on it. Dark Lightning with some ice, I think. Let's see. I have some ice affinity, mostly dark and lightning, so... Uh, of water 10 water oh i see because so obviously if i switch to my other weapon then my stats will go up 50 water 81 yeah okay let me just go ahead and see what these moves do i see quick cast time very expensive to cast though in terms of sp i wonder if i use that at all okay okay that's the basic attack. Yeah. Uh, that was also a really popular move. Uh, one of the best spears was like a water ice spear. It was a gargoyle lance. Um, a lot of gargoyle weapons were sort of endgame for other classes that didn't really use like the Satan weapons. Um, so spear users, while they could use the Satan weapon, there were light and dark moves. Um, it didn't effectively use Water Dragon Spear, so they switched to the Gargoyle Lance because it's much more effective to get that stab boost if you're like familiar with Pokemon. It stands for a same type attack boost. It sort of applies here as well. So, yep, the spear. Just spam that move as much as possible. Pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and give this a run, and see what we're doing next. And, of course, the signature um, sort of wand to give yourself SP and speed. And cap for SP was 3000, so I am capped on SP. My character isn't too strong, and I need to try to get familiar with his moves. Let's see, what dungeon can I do? I guess I can check out the dungeon, or a dungeon on the moon. I'd also consider this character relatively poor, but doesn't uh, particularly matter. We can try a dungeon that I've never really done before. Again, a lot of um, a lot of places have dungeons that were irrelevant, just because there was uh, more optimal dungeons to run. In other words, there are there are some dungeons that I've never actually entered, just because they served no purpose. All right, here's my posse. 
the heck is this? I don't remember getting this character at all. I've never seen them. I bet they'll die really quick. Oh. Okay, okay. Just gotta check out the moves. Let's get rid of this assist. Ah, so here's my old gargoyle lance that I used to use. Uh, you needed to be 115 to use it, but I have since switched. Um, let's see what dungeons are in here. Actually, you know what? Oops. I have a better idea. I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to try and do some of the older dungeons that I was talking about where there were four um, four sort of uh, important dungeons for specific classes. Most people did... Um, The, the boss with the spider at the end. Forgot already. Something that they never added that we always we had been asking for was like an indicator. We don't know how long this buff lasts. Like it doesn't like you can look it up, but they really should tell us. So we did Mine of Delusions last time because that was sort of the easy easy one that everyone did. Alluring Caverns was also very popular to do. It provided another really essential material. These other dungeons, Ephemeral Grove and Shimmering Forest, weren't as popular. I'm gonna try hard mode here. See how we do. I'm also gonna try out my mount because I don't actually think it'll do anything. Because it's just such a low level. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Surprisingly stronger than... Oops. Than I imagined. Oh, I can just spam that over and over again. That's pretty strong, actually. He's only level 11. Then again... I want to consider myself over leveled for this. Uh, hmm. Kind of dying in one sort of basic hit. Hmm. Okay, just to make things a little more interesting, I am going to back out and try hell mode. Uh, I can't leave this way. How do I. There it is. Oh, actually, I don't know. I'm not going to do hell mode on this one because the boss on that one splits into two and would be very annoying for me to do. Clear is actually the lowest rank you can get. That that just means like you made it to the end. That's that's it. Like you, uh, That means I used all of my reses and I took a long time doing it. That's what that means. So let's do this dungeon. Take this! Take this! Okay, yeah, hell mode probably shouldn't even be much of a problem for me. If this mount is doing that much damage at level 11, then I think I'll be okay. Take this! Das Boot. Das Boot. Das Boot. Das Boot. <laughs> okay, it looks like I'm going this way. When you 
when your mount runs out of stamina, you can't use it for the rest of the dungeon. I think it might still follow you. I don't think it despawns. And it'll do, you know, basic attacks like what you can see my Ibaraki doing over there. Get him, Ibaraki. 2,000 a pop. Uh oh, he died. Well, not died, but... Pow! So I think that did like 204,000. I'm doing... Again, uh, partners become really useless after some time. Uh, let's break out the Ibaraki. Ah, yes, okay. So that gives me a buff at the cost of my health. And one of the reasons that I love Kirin is because she is a badass. She's like a kung fu. Uh, fighter, I guess. Just so cool. Rising uppercut. What does this do? Reflect 200% of incoming damage. Oh my goodness. What, what else does it do? Upper limit exists. Ah, okay. So... You can't reflect all the damage back, but just completely badass. Love that partner. I guess we'll do a dungeon where she shines a little bit more. I guess I'll use her scroll just so her swap ability lasts a little bit longer as well. But we'll just use my wand here, get some uh, range damage going on. Now, generally you'd want to like take into consideration like that was not a very effective hit you can tell by the color um but you know at some point you just do so much damage that you can ignore uh what is super effective what is like resisted i missed something i did i wonder if i can hit it with this oh yeah I know it's not the end of the dun- oh, never mind. I guess it was. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put my mount away. He's not very quick. He's not like these- these mounts. Those mounts uh, have like a speed boost, so it's like easier to get around, but that guy, not so much. So, let's go ahead and take this guy on. And we spam our water moves. I missed. Take this! Oh my goodness, that does so much damage. Um, and as you can see, I do not have the Chiami, which is what I have in my Twin Sword class. So I do not heal. Um, which means I need to be careful when I use this character. Um, and I have no... No way to heal except for the food that I have down here. This was one of the best items. There was like a yellow version because it was instant. There's like no animation for it. And uh, sometimes you can get like slowed or burned or whatever, poisoned, and this would clear it up. So these are actually really good. And these are like the most, uh, one of the best items or healing items. The best one is Shenlong, which recovers like, I think like 10,000 HP and SP as well. But this was like the end game onigiri that you could buy in the shop. Not a ton of health, 4,500. That's, you know, about a fifth of my health, which is like okay. But, you know, you have to like stop and eat it like this. And that's, I mean, a spirit class has vitality, so I could obviously eat the hits. Oh, so I'm not like too worried about that. But um, unlike my spirit class, which has a lot of movement, uh, this class does not, which means I need to be careful when using this character, especially because I have no healing. So, uh, that being said, I might have to use my partner as like a heal. So I'm going to go ahead and use a scroll now. 
So as you can see, using an extra scroll will increase her affection level. Um, and I have another weapon. Oh, perfect. And I have increased duration. Boom, boom, boom. So partners, here we go. So now I can edit her skills. This is her. These are her default skills, but I want to see. Okay, that's what I have. Thunder rotation, six, cool. And her buff. Yep, God zero, nice. War cry, yep. Okay, nice. So now let's check her other weapon and choose the things that I do not have. So this one has Eruption and Flaming Warcry, this one has Flaming Warcry and Clash of the Heavens. Eternal Lux, Scorching Eruption. Scorching Eruption. And is this. So uh, what you can see here are the, these are the basic skills and um, these are the skills that you can use on that weapon and when you click on the ogi down here these are the ogi that you can use. I'm trying to pick the skills that do not overlap just so you can see what each of them does. Um, and here you can swap your skills up to 12 times. I just use one to swap out this um, and every time you enhance your character will reset and by enhance I mean like use another scroll uh, I don't remember I think you pay yeah you can pay to reset the skills using onigiri coin which again is cash shop but they do give you these onigiri coins like well in the PC version they were just giving them out like candy so um, I suppose that's not the case anymore I don't know what it's like on Steam or whatever you probably do not just hand them out Let's see. So I'll go back, I have Lotus Kick and Thunder Rotation 6. Rotation, yep. So I have Sphere, Behemoth Kick, Lotus Kick. Okay, I have Lotus Kick, Thunder Rotation. Okay, so regardless, I'll have to overlap something. I do like Thunder Rotation, I think that's a very good move. We're gonna do that. And we're going to go over to Ephemeral Grove, the no, Shimmering Forest, and take that one on. Maybe I'll do the other dungeon with the two fox bosses on hard? Hmm. I wasn't struggling, per se, so maybe, maybe we can do it on Hell Mode. I just remember when we were doing it on Hell Mode back when it was a dungeon to farm, it was actually very difficult. Hmm. Then I think about it, I should probably show off a little more of the spear skills. Take this! It's a very good lance. These lances, um, while they didn't have like the highest like base attack, what they were known for was they gave a lot of elements and um, bonus skill damage, skill force, um, and uh, elements like in most games scale more heavily than like attack. So um, giving this like a bunch of fire and dark moves is like really good because it gives fire and dark so you get the extra stab boost. That's why these um, these weapons were so popular. Spare stats. I don't. Okay. Yeah, let's just show off the spear a little bit more. Because it's pretty cool. So, we'll just kite them. These guys, like, throw, like, wind boomerangs. Like that. So, I don't want my partner to get hit. I'm surprised they aren't, like, aggroing. 
as easily. Whatever. It's taking longer to try to kite them than to actually run and hit them. Uh, another downfall of Water Dragon Spear is it took a lot of durability to use. So, not ideal. Ice Blossom did not take a lot of durability, which made it a really good move on top of some spears having like extra ice boosts. Um, it was just really good for durability's sake. I do not remember this dungeon. I think I remember the last time when I was sort of making this weapon, I was, or I'm sorry, when I was trying to make the wand, I was trying to get triple lightning blast, and that's just something you could spam. I think that's why I have freezing bullet on here, is because I was trying my best to, I just heard a box drop, I was trying my best to um, get triple freezing, or the lightning blast. There's a lucky box there. Pick that up. Guess we can pull out the key in here. Let's see. So we haven't used this one. Oh my. Thunder rotation, behemoth kick, and illuminate. Okay, so she has a range attack, that's cool. Ah, uh, okay, so that's a press skill. Ah, uh, okay, so a lot of her moves seem to be press skills, so I need to press them on time. Oh, not like that. Like that. Alright, and she deals bonus damage, it seems. Like this. Oof. So cool. Oh. Ah, missed that one. And her basic combo is cool, too. You just punch. So at the cost of health, I can give myself a buff. So cool, come on. All right, let's just exit that form now just to maximize the amount of time I have. Okay. So by doing this, uh, by exiting early, um, I can begin to rebuild her friendship bar as soon as possible. What is that, Magatom? Bunch of elements? Meh. Take this! Super excessive. That's just costing me durability using that. Looks like I never got that, uh, oops, I never got that skill to rank 6, which is really bad. So, here you can see that my skill is only level 43 at rank 5. Uh, so, uh, skill's cap is its rank times 10, so the cap for this is level 50, and when it hits level 50, I have the option of upgrading it to uh, rank 6, which resets the skill level, uh, but... Uh, that skill will have a stronger base damage, so it's definitely worth it, and I'm almost certain that some of my equipment is only for rank 6 and higher moves, so this this move here is not actually getting a bonus damage from a lot of my um, equipment, 
only because it's uh, rank 5 and I need to have it rank 6 or uh, higher. Uh, rank 6 was, or I'm sorry, rank 5 used to be sort of like the standard. Like rank 5 was uh, sort of like the minimum rank that you want for effective Magatama use. All, pretty much all of the best Magatama were rank 5, but there were some stronger options uh, that required higher rank. That was my, let's see my normal attack. Oops. So as you can see, this is normal attacks, and if you relied on them without using your skills, so, you know, you might think that you're just spamming skills all day. Well, that is true, as you can see, because a normal attack would actually take forever to kill something. Like, at the beginning of the game, normal attack's totally fine. But when you, uh, when you got other things to do, I guess you could sit there and wail on it, but um, not worth your time. A giant mirror, I think. Oh no, never mind. Oh, good thing I have dark. I'm pretty sure I need dark for this guy. Oh, another lucky box. Cool, cool. I'll just get rid of these guys in the meantime. So they don't uh, clutter the battlefield. I don't remember if I actually have to kill them first. Don't see the boss, so maybe. Okay, I did. And I can use my collapsing blade. There's the paralysis, so I could take my healing item just to get that off me. Oh my goodness, that did a ton of damage. I'm just going to switch to Keating now. And we're going to, uh, where do you go? Oof. Cerulean gem. I think this is actually really good, this Cerulean gem. Mm. Sounds familiar anyway. Suture script. I have no clue. Not that it matters, but, uh, as you can see, I got paralyzed and I used this high potion to get rid of the paralysis. Really good item. Pretty good. Man, what a badass character. Alright, well... I guess I can take on the two wolves. We'll give that a whirl. Let me just go ahead and repair just in case. Uh, cause... Um... Again, spear moves do take a lot of durability. Um, and if I use something like Collapsing Blade, which is super strong, takes a ton of durability. You can see my wand doesn't have a ton of base durability to begin with. Now, some other classes, so, okay, okay. It used to be a standard to use Chiami. All classes were using it, um, but uh, as I explained in one of my walkthrough, or I guess my look back videos, that um, eventually um, people switched to one of these skills. They switched it to something like healing. Or they carried another staff and just swapped to that in the middle of a dungeon just to heal themselves. Um, there were a couple of skills you can use to heal yourself on a staff. Um, and the only other option was to have somebody on your team, like this move here, I need a target for that, can't heal. Oh, I can heal myself, I'm a fool. I thought that that was the healing move for uh, other people but looks like I do have a self-heal. Um, yeah, I sound dumb right now, but uh, point still stands. It used to be standard to use Chiami for every class, but after a while, uh, 
when people sort of started phasing away from that. Uh, oh my. When people phased away from that, um, the only classes that really stuck with that were like um, swords and twin swords. And yes, they were different classes. They shared a lot of the same moves, but twin swords, um, what they didn't have in damage, they had in speed. So a lot of their attacks were faster and they looked a little bit flashier. How much do I heal? It's alright. Of course, as I use it more, the skill level increases, which means I heal more. I just saw a Magatama drop. Oop, I did not mean to use that move. Another Mocha Magatama. Eternal Clouds are really good. Ooh, what is this? Asura. I think that's Attack Speed Magatama. Ooh, a Cerulean Gem drop. Interesting. Can I pick this up? Nope. My inventory full? Sure is. Eh, hey, get out of here. I have no clue what these are for. I don't remember. Ah, sir. Pretty sure this is like an attack speed Magatama. Yes, twin sword or spear, you get increased attack speed. So. Um, I believe power increased attack speed. Eternal clouds are good. Not that I need them. There's a recipe here. There's this crucifix Magatama. So I believe this dungeon dropped a bow Magatama at the time was like incredibly rare. Okay. So there's another golden Daruma and I realize after thinking about it a little bit more that the element you need to actually hit the Daruma is poison. So what people would do is they would equip uh, a staff, so a party, we would stop attacking, try to equip that staff, and run over and try to hit it with a poison move. Um, as long as it was being attacked it wouldn't run away. Alright, let's go ahead and use by Ibaraki Doji. Pow, pow, pow. What a badass. Mm, I don't care for that one. That one looks pretty cool. That one's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of that one. Uppercut. Boom! Oh yeah, but I still think that this rotation move is probably your best move. Low cooldown. You can, you know, sort of move. You get movement with it. Go ahead and give myself a buff again. Mm, yummy yummy. And this just looks cool. Oh yeah. We're all for style. So much fun. What a cool partner. I guess I'll check out another partner after this. I'm just still having so much fun with Ibaraki's part er, divinity form. Actually, I think there's an NPC that allows you to try the other divinity forms. Or not specifically divinity forms, but other partners. I don't remember. Which is like a newer feature. I think that came out like right be like right before I quit. It was like a new feature. 
Another Mocha Magatama. Looks like that's a really common drop. Alright, there you go. Is this the right way? I think the right way. Okay, it is. Ah yes, a Tengu. You were once a formidable foe, but now you are simply a mob in a dungeon. Be gone with the thunderclap. Oh, I lied. Behold! So cool. I mean, this game had a lot of really cool characters, animations, like I said before, and you can see the variety of things that I'm using. The ability to sort of use a hybrid class and still do a lot of damage. Uh, was cool because that means you could have fun uh, creating and building uh, your your class your character uh, some super limited options in terms of like dress wear um, like, this kind of looks like an outfit but it's actually like five different sets like in one so kind of interesting all right, here we go. So there used to be a cheese where you could shoot one of those guys. Maybe it was both. Stand somewhere like over here on the bridge and they would keep running and trying to hit you. But because it was like past their aggro range, they would teleport back to the center. But they would still be aggroed on you so they'd keep running back here and so on and so forth. You would just wail on them as they did that. I'm going to save Ibaraki Doji just as a heal. So he's summoning his little counterpart, I believe. He did. Oh, I thought I had to kill both of them. I didn't know I could just wail on him like that. Oh, well, this is easier than I thought. I was worried for nothing. But it just goes to show, even though I was being reckless, I didn't even use my partner, that uh, I was able to um, still beat that dungeon comfortably. That heals me for 4,500, this heals me for 3,400, so pretty low cooldown. This is a limited, and you have to keep on buying these, so pretty, pretty decent, I'd say. Not bad, not bad. Let's check out a different partner. Thank you, Kirin. You were fun. Oh, Sasaki Kojiro. Oh, I have Sasuke as well. Oh, and Tote. I had a lot of characters on this one. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, let's check out uh, Sasaki Kojiro with her Subami Geishi. Pretty cool. I think she's supposed to be like Musashi Miyamoto's like arch nemesis rival. Whatever. Out the way. <laughs> I got places to go. I think one of her moves is a counter. I think that's what I remember about her. Oops. Um, if I'm not... Okay. Okay, let's calm down. Hit repair. If I'm not mistaken, she was also... A free character? Like she was from like an event. As long as you did the event, you could like get her to like max level, which is what I have her at. Or they might have increased her. Like, oh no, she's max level. Okay. Oh, but she's like not max rank. Okay, I see. As you can see, I only have three weapons. If I had like max, then she would have four. Uh, okay, I was missing two. Oh, she has an awakening form. Oh, okay. I guess I never really maxed her out then. 
Do I have any scrolls for her? Nope. Eh, that's not a big deal. I have a Gawain scroll. Interesting. You, could, you couldn't sell these, by the way, which is a shame, because, like, you know, I just have some, some scrolls that I was never going to use, or, like, some spares, like Sanzo or whatever, that other people could have used, which, uh, you know, they... I don't know why they didn't let us sell scrolls. That would have been great for people that wanted to increase their characters or get a character that they were unlucky and, you know, never ended up getting. Alright, let's try a dungeon over here, sort of like the path to Satan. I think I could fight Satan himself on hard mode with this character because I have a lot of dark. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and fight Satan. Um on this character. Okay, so after talking to the NPC, there's no portal. So it turns out that uh I do need these like items in order to enter. Uh I'll try once in each dungeon to see if they drop. The problem is these are RNG chance to drop. I think it's something like 70%, so pretty high, but it's not guaranteed to drop. I think unless you do hell mode, which I kind of don't want to do. Do hard mode. So you need to do this dungeon and another one. One drops blackstone, one drops whitestone. And you'd have to do this. You'd have to do these dungeons. And then you would have to... Um, uh, you would have to use the orbs to fight Lucifer, which then dropped uh, the endgame materials and weapon recipes and so on and so forth. Uh, I can just ignore these guys that are behind me. They will chase me forever. Until I get past this part which these guys spawn and I have to break this rock over here which lets me into that room which is where the boss is. So, let's just do that. I believe if they land on you, they cause like paralysis. If I'm not mistaken. Or like they'll stun you or something. Classes that could hit really quickly, like Twin Swords, could get rid of that, like, instantly. I think there's three wolves that spawn. You want to fight them, like, one by one. Just so, um... Uh... Hello? Oh, there they are. I don't know why that took so long. Just so you don't, like, uh, get jumped. Let's go ahead and attract one of them over here. And nah, let's just fight him. Easy peasy. Go next. Oh, I really need to learn to block again. So paralysis is pretty annoying. Okay, hey, cool. Let's go ahead and heal a little bit. And on to the last one. Oh, he's resistant to water? Makes sense. He's blue, so... Oh, I did not want to use that. Probably just do this. Way easier. We can see I didn't get a stone, so I'd have to do it again. This dungeon was fast, but the other dungeon... Um... To get, I think this one gives the white stone, but to get the black stone was actually a lot longer and therefore annoying. Let's go ahead and give that dungeon a whirl. See. What dungeon was this? 
So I think it's this one, the abandoned mines. Oops, that's exactly what it is. I think. Where am I? Is it? Let's kill Woods of Shigure. Where the heck is that? Oh, it's over here. Mm, oh, okay. Maybe some of these dungeons, I think two of them dropped black, two of them dropped white. I'm going to hope for the sake of time this one drops. I want to try to fight Lucifer on this character because I think it would be pretty easy. It's interesting. I've never heard this. Well, I have heard of it because I cleared this dungeon once apparently, but this doesn't ring a bell like this sound. It's like jungle noise, it's not really <laughs> not really music. Take this kinda shotgun them with that move. As you can tell I really like the idea that you can sort of uh, have the convenience of being close range and long range when it when it suits you. Now that being said, um, some some classes you couldn't do hybrids of, um, and I think the most important thing to like sort of like understand about hybrid classes is like um, like you're supposed to like cover for the weaknesses that you have. So for example, like you wouldn't want to do both a hybrid of sword and twin sword because uh, a lot of the moves are the same. Uh, so your elements would overlap and you're sort of doing the same thing. So um, spear was the only class that scaled off of vitality. It made it a unique class. I say that, but um, Wand scales off of Wisdom, which is the only class that does that, but Sword and Axe and Great Sword scaled off of Power, Twin Swords and Bow scaled off of Dex, and, um, oh, I guess I could use the Saki Fujiro now. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, but yeah, you wouldn't want to use, like, two melee weapons. Obviously, you could use, like, wand and staff because everyone uses staff but what the heck is that ah I remember that's right I need to be up close S swallow in light That looks pretty badass. Ah, okay. So this one's her ranged move. Cool, cool. Ah, uh, so she has like assassin skills. Oh, that one heals her. That's really good. Oh, cool. What else do I have? Hades Abyss. I think that's all I have. Swallowtail Reversal. Just a quick move. Yeah, that looks like it. Ah, uh, okay, okay, cool. So, more of like an assassin character. Question mark over there. Is that a quest I never picked up? I'm being super reckless. I parried that one. I need to get out of here. Oh 
Oh my goodness. Oof. There's my first death. I was just being super reckless. So here's the screen where you can revive and you don't have to use an item. This affects your score and you will revive. I think everything goes on cooldown and your SP doesn't get affected. So if you're out of SP, it will not refill. And I think HP only fills a little bit. But this revives you with all of it. It won't affect your score. And I don't think there's any cooldowns. So revive with an item. And continue the fight. I guess I should have backed off and just used like some range moves for some time being. I don't particularly care. Um, did I get anything? No, I did not get a stone. What the heck is this? A question mark. Well, okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll give the the wolves one more chance. If nothing drops, then we'll just call it here for the day. Um, yeah. I don't think I need to repair. I'll kill the mini guys just to build up my Sasaki Kojiro for the fight. Again, I could also just like sit here spamming skills like this. It does build her bar very slowly. But uh If I if I don't make it in time, I guess I could do that. Or if I don't build up enough meter in time, I guess I could do that. Oh wow, that did nothing. Damn. Take this. Ouch. Oh yeah, there's the paralysis I was talking about. They just kinda Paralyzing. I guess they're weak to lightning, it looks like. Come on, block! There you go. Always gotta maintain that SP. I have max SP, so uh, it's not as important. But as you can see, my SP recovery isn't as effective as my Twin Sword user because my Twin Sword user has that title that makes it much more effective. I'm surprised that that didn't even hit anything. Let's try this again! Okay, so it looks like Sasaki Kojiro did not get enough. I think this hits many times. Uh, okay, well, looks like it didn't even hit. But that was much more effective using that move. Hopefully after I kill one of these guys, then um, my Sasaki Kojiro, oh I froze him, will we'll be ready. wasn't ready there, but it looks like at the rate that I'm going, I should be able to use her after this guy, and hopefully he doesn't take too much damage from Sasaki, and we can sort of like see her moves. Okay, perfect. So here we go. I think she has plenty of time, so I can probably goof off with her a little bit. Take this. Okay, I lied. Okay, well that sucked. Alright, let's...
let's take this. I'm pretty sure I need to be like super close for that one. All right, let's just use these skills because they look pretty cool. Uh, turns out that it's a lot harder to hit with an assassin if you, <laughs> they're moving so much. Okay, well, a lot more anticlimactic than I thought. Let's just use these moves that I know are a little more effective. Okay, yeah, that does a ton of damage. I don't want to do that. That's what it looks like. Okay, cool. They have to be really close for that one. But her moves are pretty cool. Like, aesthetically, you know, she portrays a part of an assassin. Ah, yes, that's her healing move. I remember. Well, this just does a ton of damage. It's AoE, so... Before my time runs out with... Sasaki Kojiro. Oh, I missed. Okay, that was... Let's just end this. Okay, I did get a Blackstone. Perfect. So, uh, next time when we come back, we'll try to get a White Stone and uh, try to fight Satan. And we'll try to use Sasuke in the next episode. So, I'll summon... Never mind, looks like uh, I crashed. So, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, we'll use Sasuke in the next episode, and I will catch you guys later.